I see a little gap. So when, when I was thinking about whether or not to do Floral Street, I took a gap year at 51 and I thought, does the world need any more products? Yeah. Hello and welcome to Unfiltered by Cohorted. I'm Ruby Norris and today I'm joined by Michelle Feeney who has had a phenomenal career in the beauty industry and is now founder of Floral Street. So we're just gonna chat a little bit to her about her career so far. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's been lovely to sort of meet you in person. I know we joked earlier that we met on Zoom and this is our sort of in real life meeting. Hello, yes, in real life. Thanks yep. for having me. Thanks really to Cohorted. To so not to make this like a job interview because it's not, it's a lovely little chat, but can you talk me through a little bit about your sort of how, how it all started in your career and how you got to this point? Yeah, now? well, I've had the most incredible career, journey, life, um, you know, up to this point. I'm 58 now and I'm still having that great journey. Um, but I think if I look back really on, on where it all began, I think even into my childhood, you know, I grew up sort of um, Irish descent, so it's sort of, um, you know, a community in, in Birmingham, in the Midlands in the 60s and 70s. And I think that self-esteem, that being part of a community that believed in you and helped you believe in yourself, was a great start. Um, I, my first job in London after Newcastle Poly was, um, was with a lady called Leslie Goring, who we did fashion show production and fashion PR. And fashion was a new phenomenon and PR was something that wasn't, you know, it was new, it was all new. And British Fashion Week only started in the 80s as well. So I was amongst pioneering women and people that were doing things in a different way. Um, I then um, worked for Lynn Franks, who's another legendary leader 